Uh-oh. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about um, the importance of guard tags or using pragma once. Okay, so what pragma once or what guard tags do is that if a redefinition happens, then uh, it won't. Uh, it will only include one of those things. So let's say, for example, okay, let's remove pragma once, okay? Now let's say I wanted to do like composition or something or whatever. I want to include uh, an instance of player in my entity class for whatever reason, okay? So I say include player.h, okay? So I want to do this. But notice that in order for our player to inherit from entity, then we have to include entity. So whenever we include entity, we include player.h. So whenever we include player.h, includes everything that we have here. Okay, so we were just redefining what we have, right? So it just made a duplicate or when we did that. So then we stopped that duplicate from happening when we put pragma once at the top. And what Prima once does is that it says if it sees another duplicate, then it will uh, only dis only add one definition of it. So that's one way to do it. But Prima once is it's almost um, cross platform, but there's a few out there that don't support it. So guard tags are are supported everywhere. So I would prefer to use a guard tag. But anyways, to do a guard tag, 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 we say if and def, and then normally the way that we do a guard tags is we put the name of the class underscore uh, h for header, right? Um, that's just the the normal naming scheme, but it doesn't have to be. But make sure the define and if and def is equal to the same thing. But we normally do it this way because no two header files will be the same name. So uh, it makes sense to do it this way, so you won't get confused. So what this does is says if not defined, right? If entity uh, underscore h is not defined, then define entity uh, underscore h, and this is the end if, right? So if it is not defined, we define it, and then we do this, whatever. If it is defined, then whatever's in this enclosed if statement bracket won't be valid anymore okay so this is uh it won't be activated so just like an if statement so if this is true then it activates everything below it right uh but if it is not true then it won't activate anything that's in it so uh and so then if we activate so if there's not one then we create one and then we do it so then it, it goes right here so whenever we call entity or whatever right here it already we already have a we already have a player right or sorry so we should do this for the player class as well but anyways uh we already uh whenever whenever we define an entity or whatever whenever we create it it already says that we already created it so we don't need to redefine it but it's always a good thing to do a uh, guard tags for everything uh else so we should put define player underscore h and uh prime once is shorter so you might rather do that but uh guard tags are safer so once we do it this way then everything uh works as it should and and yeah so that is it for this tutorial on on implementing guard tags and using pragma once i hope you learned something from this so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and bye